module four lesson one. So this topic or this module talks about the flexible learning environment. Distance learning is a form of learning without face-to-face -face contact with a teacher and delivered via telecommunication. So in the past, this involved correspondence courses wherein the students correspond with their teacher via mails. This turned out to be beneficial since universities added students without having to construct classrooms while they enjoy being able to work anytime and anywhere at their convenience. So in this time, now this is very timely uh, about uh, distance learning because uh, we, 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 we experience today the, the global pandemic, uh, COVID-19, no? wherein uh, there is no face-to-face -face contact with the teacher and the students. No? So the students today uh, we, will communicate to their to their teachers via telecommunication. And there are so many applications and platforms that can be used in this distance learning. And later on, uh, they will be discussed one by one. So, with the advent of newer technologies, distance learning, one delivered via computer-based media, that's called online learning or e-learning. This made classrooms borderless and learning boundless. This was enhanced by the emergence of web, web 2.0 tools, which made collaborative learning easier and fun. So the learning outcomes of this topic is to identify learning through online communications. So it could be in a form of a synchronous or a synchronous modality. So, and also to describe flexible learning environment that enhances collaboration with the use of technology tools, especially the, the, the platforms now that uh, nowadays are very useful in, in online class or online distance learning. We have online distance learning education and communities of learners. We have flexible learning environment. So learning nowadays is viewed differently, especially in this time that uh, this COVID-19 is disrupting the, the, the environment, no? the community and society. So the, the, the present generation of learners has access to information at their fingertips. So there is no longer face-to-face uh, -face set up no, between the student and the, the teacher. So they are going to communicate uh, using gadgets and, and internet. So the teacher is no longer seen as basically the dispenser of knowledge, but rather as one who expertly directs the learner to take their own track searching for answer to question raised inside a classroom. So they bring this back to the class for further discussion until perhaps the solutions are agreed. Now at, at, at some time, distance learning, uh, there are also situations that uh, th there are modules that are very difficult to understand. No? Before, before going to classroom, uh, the, the, the student first read the modules no? uh, uploaded in the, the platforms and then after they read uh, there is a time that uh, the teacher will do face to face and then and then do some uh, further discussions no? during during the class for some topics that the students do not understand uh, they can research, they can search the web and discover a, a breadth of information related to the lesson. So one advantage of this uh, flexible learning environment is uh, they make use of this uh, internet. No? Internet. Uh, they, they are going to uh, search no? search for information or a video or a what we call. Uh, 
lecture no found in uh, some uh, platforms uh, internet no in the internet so they make use of that information to broaden their their knowledge about the topic so it is about uh, going outside the classroom no? they are going to learn by themselves through this uh, information found in the internet so they even have the patients to stay in front of the computer for an unusual longer time to search for more articles and multimedia materials that simplify a challenging topic. That is why they can sometimes learn more than what is confined in the four corners of the classroom. So also, uh, doing uh, flexible learning is uh, going to to develop the the skills of the students, no? they are uh, they are the ones who 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 learns for the lesson. No? So they make use of the technology to to broaden their knowledge, and uh, they are they are learning by doing. No? They, they learn about uh, what they experience uh, in that lesson, no? or they, they learn uh, through the 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 what we call this the the references now found in the or articles found in the the internet so here we have the the picture of uh the the, the conventional or the traditional teaching no? the the classroom teaching with face-to-face uh, face-to-face no? -face setup then here also uh, in one picture uh, presents the the online distance learning. So it is through using the technologies uh, that is uh, found nowadays. No? So they are going to learn. They, they, they are they are doing what they can do to learn. No? The flexible learning environment. Every chance or corner becomes a learning space. It is clear that learning takes place anywhere, and it and this adds to the concept of flexibility in learning environment. So, with technology, students can possibly continue to join class sessions even if they are not physically around. So, the learning space becomes virtual and mediated. The library is not only a physical structure where they can read, publish books, but has also become virtual. So flexible learning can do that, no? So they do not need they they do not need to go to school. So they can attend classes uh, using uh, online online. So we have this online distance learning. So online distance learning is not a new concept. Uh, some schools, higher education institutions in the country and in educational agencies such as Southeast Asian Ministers of Education, Innovations in Education Technology provide this mode of learning. So it allows flexibility in the learning to a certain extent so without a uh, face-to-face setup so there are different platforms that can be used in online online distance learning so we have four common platforms uh, one is Moodle two is Google Classroom and Moodle so we have Schoology then we have MOOC yes so Moodle was created by Martin Logiamas, founder and CEO of the Moodle. The Moodle stands for the Modular Object Oriented Dynamic Learning Environment, which is an open source software. It is a learning management system or LMS that supports teaching and learning. So this is the picture of uh, the, the Moodle, no? the example of Moodle. So we have Moodle. Uh, the, the Moodles have uh, different versions. We have uh, 
3.6, 3.9, and we have also the latest. Huh? So we're in the in this platform. Uh, activities modules can be uploaded huh? so students can access to this uh, platform and can easily uh, download the, the module that the, the teacher uh, will upload huh? so in that way they can they can do flexible learning so we have also google classroom and it so classroom is free service for teachers and students. It is a learning management system platform that is accessible through your Google account. So if you have a Google account, uh, you can use this one. Huh? So you can create a classroom, which is called the Google Classroom, and perform classes. No? Or create class and perform your roles and functions as a facilitator of learning. So in 2008, Idmudu was created by Nick Board, Jeff O'Hara, and Crystal Hatter. Then we have the study conducted by Martina 2015. Uh, he, uh, he compared Idmudu and Google Classroom in her blog. Although she discussed several commonalities, there are apparently differences, but with technology, no? things evolved in a short time. What is clear is that uh, they created apps that can integrate well with classroom activities. So the decision lies in the teacher who will determine what works best in her teaching and learning context. Both are amazing tools can be explored. So in the Google Classroom, you can create a course or a subject wherein uh, you can conduct a online distance learning class, uh, you can upload module, and then you can conduct also quizzes. No? You can set some assignments uh, in this platform. No? So in this platform, uh, you, if you want to conduct a quiz, so you select the option, uh, create a quiz, and then, and then uh, you can set time. No? You can set time for the deadline or a time uh, where the student can enter the, the scheduled quiz. No? And in this platform also, you can also upload some links uh, for the references of the students. Uh, and also uh, modules, no? you can upload modules. We have Schoology. So this is another platform. Schoology is another LMS founded uh, last 2009 by Jeremy Friedman, Ryan Wang, Tim Trinidad, and Bill Candler. You can actually create your own online distance education learning system using any of these platforms. You have MOOC. This stands for the, the Massive Open Online Course. So it is a model for delivering learning content online. So any person who wants to take a course, so it allows one to pursue learning even outside of the university or higher education formal structure. So those who are working can enroll in MOOCS with no limit on attendance. As long as you are willing to learn, uh, you can engage in an area of discipline and learn. It allows interconnectedness among peoples in the world in the world to discuss and share recent developments in their common field of interest. So as you can see in the figure, no? so any any person, no? any person that wants to learn uh, can enroll into any course. It's open, no? open, and also uh, people can share their, their experiences. No? and discuss uh, through this platform. Then we have uh, another another topic, no? So flexible learning can be in a synchronous or asynchronous modality, no? So in the flexible learning mode, the activities can be done in these two ways, no? You can have synchronous, no? Uh, synchronous in a sense that uh, you can do it in 
in live no? live streaming uh, lecture no? using a platform wherein your students can uh, enter the link or you can enter the classroom and then you can do uh, you can do a class no? you can discuss about your class using a platform no? so there are many applications apps that can be used in the synchronous class no? so you can have a skype no? you can do class on skype you can do class on uh, webex you can do class on zoom and another thing also is uh, it can be in a synchronous uh, modality no? or in a synchronous way in a sense that uh, we can we can upload uh, links you can upload a module uh, you, you can record your lecture during the synchronous uh, space no? or synchronous um, synchronous class no so after you record that one you can upload that into the platform where you know, your students can access the 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 recordings no the, the replay of your class through some social media platforms so that is the difference between synchronous and asynchronous so a synchronous session an online chat at real time so it is at real time now you can use a platform so that uh, you can discuss with the students no? in a scheduled time or in their preferred schedule anytime anytime as long as they are vacant the ideas are posted in an actual live class so in this mode the course participants are made to be engaged in the flow of discussion that is why the online tutor has a plan out instruction guide in facilitating the discourse so you can use zoom you can use uh, Webex, uh, Skype, or you can uh, even Messenger. No? You can use Messenger. So these are different platforms used for a synchronous session. For a synchronous section, this is when uh, questions or tasks are posted and course participants answer the question or post the reply at any time most convenient to them. No? Because some of the students cannot uh, afford uh, join the, the live class no? because of limited internet connection. So in this asynchronous session, they can also participate or they can still participate in the class. No? So one advantage is that uh, you can you can take your time when replying no? as uh, as a instructor or a teacher or even uh, you are a student. No? A synchronous discussion. Synchronous discussion can be in a form of a blog or even a video blog. A topic of a great importance is discussed by the bloggers who can be the teacher or any of the class members. Since it is openly accessible, anyone from the class once informed. Since it is openly accessible, anyone from the class once informed about it can respond or comment on it and which can also be responded to the other bloggers. So this is a, a synchronous session. No? Then uh, another is we have blended learning. So blended learning, another way of handling flexible learning is by combining modalities of instructional delivery. So blended learning is a combination of learning activities wherein a part of the lesson is delivered online while the other part is hand handled in actual physical setting or a classroom. No? So it depends, it depends on the, the availability, availability no? so the, the, the teacher or the instructor can, uh, can do the class online, or can upload some uh, module in online. Uh, and after that, uh, the, the, the teacher or instructor can also do class or after setting some activities from the online, 
uh, the, the students can do or can go to the classroom and do some physical activity, no? Or any activity that the instructor or teacher uh, deliver to them, no? Or ask them to do. So it is a combination, no? It is a combination of online and uh, physical setting class. Or it could be, uh, it could be pure online, or it could be uh, pure physical setting, no? But in the physical setting, uh, there are some uh, techniques in uh, doing the, the learning, no? It could be by groupings or doing activities so that the students are active, no? Active in learning. So there are many ways to conduct uh, blended learning. So we have the kinds of blended learning. So we have uh, model one to six. So we have the face-to-face -face driver. We have the rotation type of blended learning. We have the flex. We have the online lab, the self-blend, and the online driver. So we will discuss this one by one. So for face-to-face -face driver, in the face-to-face -face model, the teacher delivers the curricula or curriculum most of the time and utilizes online learning at certain times with a purpose or augment or provide an alternative experience. Instruction is provided in a computer laboratory or assigned tasks and uploaded online. So basically it is the, the typical face-to-face uh, -face or the, the typical teaching teaching strategy wherein the teacher will conduct class and then uh, some time uh, the, the teacher also uh, posted some activities through online uh, in some platform or any social media uh, applications now for the the face to face so this is the setup of the face to face no? So again, face to face it could be a pure lecture together with a class, or it could be an online, no? online or using the synchronous, uh, synchronous type of session, no? online any platform. No? So they can make use of their technologies also. No? So internet uh, and technology no? for doing class. And then we have the, the, the rotation uh, type, no? In a particular course or subject, students rotate on a fixed schedule between learning online in a one-to-one, -one, self paced learning environment and being inside a classroom with a face-to-face -face teacher. This is a model that is in between the traditional face-to-face -face learning and online. So in this type of... Uh, learning blended learning so uh, some of these uh, strategies uh, one uh, one uh, one of the, the method here is that uh, they will conduct face to face or or they will conduct their own learning no so using technology so so it is in between the face to face and the online learning so, so uh, they conduct they can conduct face to face uh, at the same time after some time uh, they will do online so they will the students will read and then after that uh, there is an activity that is conducted no? so this is how rotation rotation uh, blended learning works no? so it could be an online instruction and then uh, after online instruction the students will do the task that the teacher want to do uh, maybe they can they can read through the, the module that the, the, the teacher uploaded or the instructor and after that after the online instruction uh, they can do the the face to face no another session after learning online uh, they can do face to face instruction no? with with the group with the actual uh, actual teacher no? uh, face to face then after that one uh, the teacher will, will give an activity so they, they will do uh, 
uh, collaborative activities. You know, they, they will discuss with each other and then uh, do some activities and, and deliver it to the teacher. Or it could be through online and then after online, online instruction, uh, the teacher will do or will give uh, activities to the students and the students will actively participate uh, in their groups. No? Then uh, it can be delivered online also by the students. It depends. No? It is in a rot rota rotation type. No? Rotation type. The next is we have the Flex. This model uses an online platform that delivers most of the course. Support to learning is provided as needed through on-site support or by an online tutor who facilitates the tutorial or small session. The sessions can be arranged into synchronous or asynchronous. The course participants may work on their tasks at any convenient time as long as it is within the confines of the course duration. So this is how the, the flex learning or the fixed blended learning mode. So, so there is an online platform or the central learning lab. No? There is the central learning lab. So there are uh, following uh, there are groups outside the central learning lab. So the student can go uh, in any group they want if they want to do that kind of uh, gatherings or do that kind of learnings. So. Uh, the student can freely uh, go go in anywhere or any group no? you can go in a breakout room go into a science lab or a lab uh, you can go into an intervention or a seminar or social area anywhere that uh, they are uh, they are comfortable to learn no? and then uh, the teacher will do some uh, tutorial or facilitate the, the learning in small group no? So the, the teacher will go in every group and then uh, do some follow-ups or do some instruction on what they are going to do. So it, it, that is a uh, flex mode, no? flex mode of uh, blended learning type. So in that way, uh, the student will learn because uh, they are comfortable on, on what they are doing or they are comfortable to learn because the they do the interesting the interesting method they want to they want to do. Then we have is the next one is the online lab. The online lab model uses an online platform in delivering the course, but located in a physical classroom or computer laboratory. Since the classroom in modular format and available in online program, teacher assistants supervise these classes. However, they may not provide uh, the needed expertise if learners seek assistance. So furthermore, students who are enrolled in an online live model of blended learning may be enrolled in traditional classroom courses at the same time and therefore have blocked schedules. The next is we have the self learn So the self learn model is a system provided by the school where the student can choose the courses they would like to have in addition to their typical brick and mortar classroom classes. This model is always a remote, a major difference from online lab. No? So the students can learn uh, by their own. No? They can uh, they can. Uh, they can learn in their home or any place they want to go for learning no? as long as uh, uh, as long as they, they are uh, following some instructions uh, given by their teacher and, and or instructors no? so they make use of uh, the, the internet some platforms that will help them uh, facilitate their learning. So here is the picture no? uh, of self-blend type of um, blended learning. 
or they make use of the, the technology, no? They learn by themselves. Uh, last is the online driver. The online driver model is, utilizes a platform and a teacher that delivers the curricula. Students remotely work on their program most of the time. However, there is a face-to-face -face component that is made optional or if ever it is required for the students to go to physical learning environments such as school, then it can be extracurricular activities augmenting the curriculum. We have uh, online communities of learning social networking. So when we consider online networking, uh, internet users immediately refer to some application, uh, just like Facebook. So Facebook account can, can be used to communicate, uh, uh, not only by communication and making some friends, uh, getting information also is, uh, is also part of um, having this uh, account, no? Facebook account. Then uh, not just uh, through information, getting information, uh, getting communication, and having uh, having use also uh, and to use this also is is. Can, can be used also in, in educational, no? So this, this uh, online platforms can be used also in, in getting information for their uh, education, in their learning, in their, uh, or in, in work, some informations or uh, methods they can use in learning. So what is networking? When productive relationships are cultivated, networking works best. No? A network is defined as the group of individuals who communicates and connects on a regular basis. So if an individual has personal network of people, one can tap on the potential contacts of social, educational, or professional purposes. No? So it is through uh, linkages, no? so communication. So if you have a network, you can all you can easily get uh, information. Uh, you can also uh, you can you can get easily information by asking uh, others. Then there are some uh, platforms we can enhance our networking. That is through social media. They say that uh, there is a great need to connect because whom once matter sometimes one needs to link with them because they have one needs what one needs. So not all of us uh, knows all no uh, through this uh, network or uh, connection we can access or we can get informations from the others uh, that are experts in this kind of topic, information, uh, skills. No? So, however, the challenge is how to achieve the network from people who can provide the favors into establishing the relationship that will entitle him or her to be a cold friend, the one who can be trusted as a collaborator in working on assigned tasks by the teacher. So we have social networking platforms. No? These are some uh, commonly used networking platforms. Now we have the Facebook, we have the Google, we have the the Twitter, we have the Skype, and also Facebook, no? YouTube, YouTube, LinkedIn. No? So Facebook uh, can be used in communication, having some friends. Uh, you can also get some data. Uh, then uh, YouTube, we can uh, we can use YouTube for uh, uh, learnings no? in, in education. There are some uh, tutorials now you can use YouTube and Google uh, for it is you can use this for searching some information, sending some email and others no? and others. So LinkedIn no? for 
or persons who are going to apply jobs. So they can just link in to get information uh, for, their, for their hiring uh, purposes. No? Or the companies can also use LinkedIn to get some information about an applicant. So social media platforms by total number of users you know, as of now, as, as, as of this uh, year, no, 2012, 847 million are using Facebook as a uh, major communication. No? Then uh, for learning, then you have this uh, Google and then uh, YouTube. No? So in 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 ranking, we have this uh, Facebook as the, the top no? top most popular social networks, uh, social media platform. So we have this uh, ranking in this. Top 15 most popular social networks. So, the benefits of using social networking sites. So, using social networking websites opens an array of benefits of, for users. The world has become global village to this connectivity. So, through these uh, social networking sites, no? Facebook, uh, Twitter, uh, so the world becomes uh, this global village. No? Uh, connection has transcended space and borders. No? So anyone, no? anyone can connect. So even though if, if one person is far away from another person, uh, through these uh, social networking sites, they can connect. No? In any time they want to connect no? or to chat with so using this uh, social networking site. So if you have a family or friends, uh, just few clicks away, no, you can connect or you can contact your family through this uh, social networking site. So this is one benefit that uh, the social networking site brings brings us, no? brings us. And also, aside from connections. Uh, Communications, social networking website also provides information. So news about news, uh, what is the world going about, uh, the views of other, others around the world can be easily accessed instantly at one's fingertips, no? through using your mobile, your computer, uh, any technology, no? any technology. So it easily allows one to transmit information or update contacts on what one thinks or how now feels. So social networking websites can support learning or augment educational activities. So aside from information, connections, communication, the social networking websites also supports educational activities, no? especially in, in doing assignments, uh, research, uh, doing their uh, dissertation or thesis or any term papers so this social uh, website can um, can be used no so gathering data for educational activities then aside from benefits having benefits of using social media there are also dangers of using social media uh, networking sites, no? So one major risk is making friends with strangers who may actually be a predator or a cyber bully, no? So uh, it can be, or a student can be bullied through the social networking sites, no? And once uh, the, uh, once the student is bullied, so there is a psychological problems now of course no so there are some changes on the behavior of the student no? and uh, also in social networking sites we can have also identity theft no someone may get your information 
um, you get your your identity and use it to some uh, crimes for for some purposes, no? Uh, identity theft. So, or another danger in using social networking site is the children seeing offensive images and messages, no? Especially in uh, some social media platforms, no? There are some uh, posts uh, that is not good or offensive or may affect the behavior of some student or your child, no? Then also invasion of privacy, invasion of privacy. That is also uh, another danger of using social uh, networking sites. So how to safeguard oneself in engaging social networking sites? No? You need to understand and take precautionary measures to safeguard yourself in social networking websites. No? When young users prefer to use social networking websites, website that is outside of the school, teach them to stay safe through some precautionary measures. No? So here are some precautionary measures. So social networking account, number one, no? Social networking account has passwords and login details. So every account, account has this uh, privacy or uh, privacy details information of uh, privacy information especially your login id and then uh, login passwords uh. always secure your passwords and keep them always in private so number two log out every time you use public computers no always do that one to to to, to prevent identity theft or some uh, Informations may get from your account, no? So number three, re regularly check privacy settings of social networking websites so that uh, one only directs friends or those particularly known can see the post. So you can filter your post every time you are going to post in a social media. So you can set that one, no? So you can set if you want your friends only can directly see your post or you want it in public. Or you can also set that one in private. So you can do that. And then uh, number four, online posts are saved and may become permanent reputation. As you use the internet, you have, you leave a digital footprint which can be traced back to you. <clears throat> <clears throat> Next is do not accept invites from contacts unless you know them personally or you are sure of their identity. So you must first uh, identify the the person. <coughs> You first check. You first check the the person uh, that that is uh, that, that is that is inviting you to a any uh, request, no any request. So be sure that uh, you know that person, or you already met that person personally. No? So make sure that uh, you identify that one before accepting invites. And next is seriously consider the effect of possible posts on others before deciding to do so. A post, example, text, picture, video, could be considered offensive or humiliating another person. Then you refrain from posting or uploading it to so prevent some uh, sharing of uh, videos that are offensive. No? So, Try to refrain that one or never post that one or share uh, that kind of uh, information, uh, text, picture, or video. Seven is using appropriate language is essential. 
So the tone when communicating or sending social networking messages should be respectful. So better be safe than sorry. So you should accept friends and connections when you are sure of the person's identity. Uh, this is a link on the number five. Uh, number five. Uh, Pecutionary measures. <clears throat> Number nine, when there is an indication of harassment or abuse, it is advised that uh, you report this by clicking the report button of abuse. It's better still to talk to friends or trusted adults about this case. And next is Bullying, tap, bullying takes place even in social networking websites. So we have this, what we call cyberbullying. Cyberbullying uses the sites, messages, updates, and other functions to harass, intimidate, humiliate, taunt, or pick on the individual. So when this happens, you can do the following actions. No? You can ignore the, ignore the behavior by not responding at all. No? Just ignore, no? Or you can block the person. Or click the report button of abuse so that uh, it will not happen again, no? And then uh, talk to a trustworthy adult about it. So that's all. Thanks. And thank you very much for watching.